Welcome to January 2019 Energy Trends. I'm Danielle Rama Hoffman of DivineTransmissions.com. This is Toth with the Tri and an expanded Council of Light moving more into the forefront of this Divine Transmission. We are delighted to be continuing our exploration of the energy trends in the month of January in the year 2019. We would begin with an overview of 2019. For 2019 it is a 12 year, if you add them all together, and to come to a single digit, it is a three, the one and the two, one plus two becoming a three. And so we would first speak about that and also the 19, for we know that there is the 20 that is uh, also a part of the 19, the 18, 2012, 2018, 2019. So there's a lot that we would unpack here. And let's begin with the energy of 2019. And we'd invite you to tune into it from your awareness, from your perspective. And as we first look in the Akashic Records at first glance at the energy trends of 2019, what bubbles up first is almost like two energies together and that as there are the two energies together you may have the sense of this year almost doing double duty like double time and one of the reasons that there are these two energies that are coming up together in a very primary way is that 2019 is a year of massive evolution. Massive, 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 massive evolution. And not the kind of evolution that you have been experiencing per se in terms of evolution through the slower vibrations of separation consciousness coming up to the surface to then be rocket fuel for your evolution. Although that may be a part, that's why we're saying there are these two energies that are coming up together. Yet evolution really from a magical place. So let's talk about that. We talk about the Divine Expansion Project a lot and how the divine is always expanding. You're the divine, you're expanding. And the divine source, consciousness, God, goddess, great spirit, all that there is, is also always expanding. So what creates that expansion? What evolves the divine? As we're speaking about evolution as one of the main themes in 2019, what evolves the divine is not the same as what used to evolve the divine. Same for you. What evolves you is not the same as what used to evolve you. And that's a beautiful thing. That's evolution in and of itself. And so this highly evolutionary year is one where there is a simultaneity, and that's why we're talking about these two energies, of having evolved out of, or outgrown some ways of being that once were necessary that no longer are and now moving into those that are necessary so there's a little bit of this like moving into the unknown because if you're going into the uncharted territory of the innovative or the unknown it does require some of that recognition. And at the same time, evolution is a very natural process. It, it happens 
on a consciousness level and a larger scale, whether we look at the 2000 year larger scale of the procession of the equinoxes of shifting out of the Piscean age, separation consciousness into the Aquarian age, the heart center, unity consciousness, oneness, divine wholeness, co-creation, love, all of that. that. That's an example of a larger cycle of an evolution and it's natural. So that you are incarnate at this time also means that as a part of your birthright and this birthright comes even more in the forefront in 2019, you're here to not only evolve in a very accelerated way on an individual level, yet also contribute to a large revolution in consciousness, to have a key role in that evolution in consciousness. Now, one of the aspects that is super groovy from our perspective about 2019, which was already kicked off in the 18 of 2018, is that there's a lot more frequencies and vibrations that are available on the dimensions of the Earth star that weren't available in 2017 that weren't available in 2012. We talk about 2012 because it is often that year where there was so much like what's what happened in 2019, so much build up for it. And now there's been this kind of unpacking and this getting used to all that has transpired in 2012 and, and beyond. So the recognition that in 2018, you positioned yourself for being in vibrational proximity to frequencies and vibrations from across the multiverse and what we would call your origin source that weren't present before. So you already have more material. This is a little bit like if you were used to cooking out of only what was in your closet, only what was in your pantry, then you, ha you have the experience of cooking now from anything that's in the grocery store. So evolution requires new frequencies and vibrations. It's not a recycling of what's already been there. So in 2019, we would invite you to notice when are you circling back to something that used to work that doesn't and then to, to take a breath and go, ah, actually what you're looking for isn't going to be there. It's going to be innovative. It's going to be in an energy of really pioneering. So 2019 is a beautiful year to get to those projects, those ways of being that really create a sense of magic for you, that really create an experience of being in your sweet spot. So we were talking about the 19 of 2019. Now let's go into the 12. And we bring in some light language here to transmit about the 12. And we talk about the 12 and the three a little bit together. Because the 12 really is having your set point of living from a multidimensional being. So you're no longer experiencing yourself through an endless hamster wheel of body mind, emotion, thought, feeling, sensation, thought, feeling, sensation, thought, feeling, sensation, thought, feeling, sensation. You are not thought, feeling, and sensation. You are a divine being. You are a divine being. A divine being now that can be experiencing yourself as multidimensional in, in oneness. And at least that's where the divine expansion is going. So there is an aspect and we know that it's not like one way for everyone because you're going to have your way. Yet there is an aspect of 2019 that's really going to be up front and center around how well you are taking impeccable care of yourself or the energy of support like how supported are you how supported are you by by yourself by your environment and 
And so that may be coming up as well with all this magic and all this multidimensionality. So depending on what you completed in 2018, because 2018 was also a big year to include back in the wholeness and to bring forward that which you're continuing to bring forward into the rest of your incarnation, depending on what you completed and what you didn't, you may notice, especially in January, that there is this invitation to, to come from a, a more expanded space, to come from a more expanded space. So with that, there may be a kicking up as it comes to the surface to come back in the wholeness and oneness, the outdated thought forms, slower vibrational emotions and beliefs. Now, we're not saying that to seed, to say, okay, this is what you're going to experience, experience, yet to acknowledge if you do experience separation or power over power under the slower vibrations coming to the surface in January, that is simply a part of your evolution because those ways are outdated. Those ways are outdated. So if you're holding on tight to them, then there is almost this kicking up of them. So then you go, oh, that doesn't work anymore. I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this down on the altar. I'm going to open my hands and then I'm going to reach for something that's even more, something that's even more. Good. So we're looking, what else to tell you here? Anka anati oshiwa katiwa koshiwa kastiwa katiwa kastiwa katiwa. And so we also mean this lovingly that this is a great year to really allow an even deeper transparency within your own relationship with yourself so that you are fully coming out of hiding, if there's been any being in the background, or if you've had an aspect of you that has been kind of running the show, when really there's a larger, mm -hmm. a larger component or a larger band. So for example, let's say you have a band and you, your, your lead singer was a separation consciousness uh, pattern that is like the sky is falling or there's some kind of separation or lack. And then in the background, the whole band, the background singer, the background, the band is also your magical self, your, your fully expressed self that now the, there's a reorientation of the band. Or another way of speaking about this is, let's say you've been on this spiritual path of devotion for quite some time. And that you've been masking that for yourself. This year is asking for you to, to take off the mask whatever that mask is, whatever that mask is, to be in this beautiful love, self-acceptance, and that there may also be some aspects of you as a multidimensional being that seem to be paradoxical or seem to have in the past created this friction. And now there's a recognition of both. It's not spirit or matter. It's spirit as matter. There's body-soul fusion. There's this oneness. And so where is your, what you would call spiritual paradox in your own life that this year is inviting you to, in a way, move more into a place of visibility. 
nika tanka shtiwa sta o shtiwa kati hakoshtiwa kastiwa kati kaneni min kastiwa kastaya hakoshtiwa kati kaneni ma kastiwa katiwa kastiwa that you don't have to be either or you can be both you are multidimensional you are complex and it is a year to really lift all the veils on that if you choose hakashtiwa ai okoshti hinane mankati wa kashti wa kastaka ai kashti wa katiwa beautiful so as we're continuing with this january 2019 energy trends we would speak a little bit more about the january energy hai akashti wa ankati hasti wa koshti wa kati ananista hai ushti wa akoshti wa hikoshti ki anani koshti wa asti wa hasti wa koshti wa kati nananaman koshti wa and the way that we would speak about this january energy is like that meditation that you may have uh, heard about where let's say you have a vase and you're going to put rocks sand and water in the vase that if you put the rocks in last and the rocks represent what really is most important for you if you put the rocks in last it all won't fit in so january is about getting crystal clear on what those rocks are for you what you're putting first and to put those first that it's not about waiting to see what's left over and then and then doing it from there it's it's putting a stake in the claim it's putting a, a stake in it's it's marking your claim it's saying okay this is what really is important or has meaning hashti wa kati kati nana ma kati wa koshti wa kastaya agasti wa hakosti wa kasti wa koshti wa kati agasti wa so if there have been projects or choices or trips or areas of your life that you've been putting off that really are the most important we're inviting you to to put those into your awareness to put those front and center nishtanka oshtiwasta hakushtiwa ki ani kashti hastiwa kushtiwa kastiwa kotiwa kastiya so if you have been having something on base or in the background that really is ripe to come into the foreground that that's what you're really being called to look at in January hashtiwa kastiwa katiwa katiwa there's also a lot of energy around uniqueness in 2019 being your unique self. We've already spoken about that. So, as we're bringing this energy trends towards a place of completion, and we know that we are in a way scratching the surface and will continue to unpack 2019 in these energy trends as we go along. We would invite you to if you choose close your eyes and really allow that to bubble up for you now. What are the rocks in this year what are you going to put first this year
or another way of asking that question is what is it that once wasn't required that now is by you for you with you through you what are you evolving into Beautiful. So we'd invite you to bask in these energies for as long as you'd like. And we are delighted to be co-creating with you in this way and are very overjoyed with the energies of 2019. It is going to be a magical and extraordinary divine ear. All is light. And we are all.